Welcome. I've done a number of videos on my Ego Power Plus battery powered snowblower, and I've had it about four and a half years now. And the other day when I was using it, there was a big clunk sound, and the scraper bar had broken. So that's the plastic here. And this has, I think, a five year warranty on most of this, but this is considered like a user replaceable part. So I just wanted to make a video going over the process of replacing this. So here's the part here. It's the 21 inch snowblower scraper bar. And I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. That being said, I actually got this locally. I went to Ace Hardware. I looked online at Ace Hardware and there are probably a dozen in my area and there was only one that had this in stock. So I called them up, they put it aside, I went and picked it up. So I would check your local sources for this, Ace Hardware, Lowe's, there could be other places that sell the Ego parts and see if they have it in stock. And then if you can't find it there, maybe then order it online. So this has these cap head screws that hold it on and there are three left and oh, there's four, there's one down here. One of these is gone. So you can see the other end, the nut is in this plastic part and I don't know where that went. So to take these off, you need a four millimeter hex wrench. So the bottom down here broke, and if I turn this, it'll just rotate. So I'll use a pair of pliers to hold it. There we go. I should mention I took the batteries out of this before working on it. So this has an M5.8 pitch thread on it, and the whole thing is 15 millimeters, and the thread portion is one centimeter, if you're just looking for that bolt. But the new bar should come with it. We'll check out what came in the box. So there is some rust forming on here and some of this paint has chipped away. So I'm going to spray a little uh, Bow Shield T9 on there. It's a rust and corrosion protection. There's other things you could spray on there, even like WD-40. And probably this spring or summer, I'll maybe take this paddle wheel out and I'll just sand that down, clean it real good, and I'll throw some spray paint on it. But it's expected that this could rust. I don't use a lot of corrosive stuff on my drive, but I clean at the end of the driveway and the city puts a bunch of salt and chemicals on the road. So, you know, it's kind of hard on metal. So I'll just spray a little of this on there. So let's check out what came in the box. Okay, so it has new hardware, but the hardware is different. It has these studs and these nylon lock nuts and these kind of conical washers. And here's the new scraper. Okay, so here are the instructions. So you want to read these obviously, but a couple things to note here is that you want the spring washer to be uh, in this direction in the diagram here. And then you have the nut. And this requires an eight millimeter socket to put those on, or you could use a wrench. So here's a comparison of the old and new parts here. You can see these have these studs in here now, like so. And it looks like the washer and nut are gonna go on the outside now, whereas before they were on the inside. And I don't remember exactly how big this was when it was new, but this new one looks bigger. But you know, obviously it gets worn down on the concrete. This is a, has really tough treatment. Like on my drive have seams, so I'm pushing along and these things just bang into it all the time. So it's not a surprise that this is the first thing that broke on it. So to install this, I'll stick the stud in the scraper bar. And it's like a carriage bolt, so it has a little rectangular portion there. And it is rectangular, so you'll need to make sure it lines up with the rectangular portion here. So it fits in there. If you have it turned 90 degrees, it won't sit in there right. Okay? And then I'll stick it in here. It should line up with the holes on the back side here. I'll put one of these little spring washer things on and then the nylon lock nut. So I'll tighten that down. I have a eight millimeter socket here. It's on a handle. And then I can hook a, a ratchet into this to tighten it all the way. So when I put things together, I like to put all the bolts in before I tighten everything down. I don't want anything to bind on anything. So 
So it feels like it's binding on something at the bottom, so I'm going to loosen this up. I'll try putting the bottom in first, maybe. So I feel like I got that tight enough with this. I don't think I need to put the ratchet on there to crank them down too hard. So that was a little bit tricky to get these all in. I found it easier to start at the bottom and then work my way up. So I wasn't fighting gravity here. And I just kind of had to flex it a little bit to get this last one in up top. But otherwise it wasn't too difficult. Okay, so I'm going to take my camera off the tripod and I'll get some close-up shots. Okay, so here you can see about how much thread is sticking out from the nut. So you want to check all of yours and make sure it's all about the same on each one. So there's a little bit of rust on this bar here, on that edge. There's a little bit on the back side. There's a little rust right here and there's that rust on the inside. So I'll probably clean all that up later. But otherwise, not too bad of a repair. So we got a snow eye. I need to get this back out there in operation again. After it broke, I was able to use it. I just had to make sure I held it up pretty good so this wasn't dragging on the ground and I couldn't get it all the way to the concrete. But I expect this could break again someday. Uh, so I made it four and a half years. That's not too bad. I probably should have inspected it. I can't imagine this just all of a sudden broke. It probably had a little crack in it already. So if I had paid more attention, I could have ordered one ahead of time and then replaced it preventatively. So... Aside from that, the bottom of this is looking pretty good. The wheels are looking pretty good. Looking inside of here, the uh, paddles are looking pretty good. There's a tiny little tear here that doesn't go all the way through. I think there might have been one other. That's the same one. Is it the same one? Yeah, okay. But the rest of this looks pretty good. There's a little tiny chip right there. And you can buy this part too. This is replaceable. So if this ever goes bad, I can replace it. I'll probably spray a little bow shield on that. It's funny, this one has zero rust on it. Looks like it's never even been wet. Yet this one has rust on it. It's funny how that is. And some tiny little chips there. So, but it doesn't look bad considering what this goes through. I mean, you know, mostly it's moving snow, but you know, I get little sticks on my driveway before the snowfall and those end up sometimes getting shot through here. So the inside of it really isn't looking too bad. So that's how to replace the scraper on an Ego snowblower. And this is the 21 inch single stage model. I think there's only one single stage model, but I'm not completely sure. And I'll make sure to include the model number in the description of this part too. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.